just got to put a battery in first before I do anything. A new change for the bike and I'm just going to go try and find out what it's called. It's called an e-bike display with side key and this is what it is. Basically you've got a display with lots of little, lots of little screws in the box so don't lose them. You get a display to replace the display on your Nativo or your um, Paluno and it's got a little up and down button on it. Okay, so I'm going to replace this for you now and I'm just going to give it a bit of a test. This could cure some of the problems that some of us people have had with this bike. To the fact that your up and down controls are in the centre console and not on the side. So I'm going to change it over now, fit this and uh, see how well it works. Right, so it's on, it's fitted. Um, you can see the difference in the two. This one has one wire, the other one has two wires coming off it. So you unplug the green one and the blue one connects to your finger button at the front. Um, yeah, the difference is this one now has no buttons on the display. Other than that, it looks exactly the same and you did have to take the headstock off. You just had to slide it out. It's a very easy job, five little tiny screws. Very, very, very simple. You can see the little tiny screw holes on the bottom there. That's all you have to do is just change them screw holes. It's so, so simple. So let's put that in my pocket for a second. Let me just get down on my knees, which isn't easy really. But uh, let's 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 tr let's try it. Let's let's turn it on. So it's basically now we press the button. I can show you. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Let's move you back so you can see what I'm doing. Right. So we've now got a button on the side here, with an up and a down. So our power button is now here. So we press our power button and on she comes. Absolutely perfect. It's in gear one at the moment, gear two, three, four, five. And if you want to go down, you can. So you can go up to two, down to five. All right, that's absolutely fantastic. I really do like that. It's now reading uh, KPH, so I need to go into my app. So if I go into my phone app, which there is a link up, if you want to see how I do the phone app, let's get my thumb recognition so you don't see my password. And I just need to get into my SKU app which is this one and then I'm just going to go over to the settings in the settings let's take the glasses off so I can see and I'm just going to press mile per hour I'm probably going to have to pair it again by the looks of it because I've changed this this must be the Bluetooth system uh, so I must have to pair it again so I'm just going to pair this let's add a bike yes is that connecting let's have a look offline it says right so it needs to we need to find another bike so we need to add device search again i found the bike success yeah now i've got uh two so open number two go into my settings change to miles per hour and it's now changed over to miles per hour absolutely fan Dabby dozy. The only difficult, the only bad thing is, or the only thing is, it's it's reset the mileage now back to zero, um, and I was on a hundred k on the other one, um, but no big deal. We'll soon crack up the mileage anyway. Um, but let me get you a bit closer so you can have a look and see what I'm doing. Okay, so you can see on the top here, this is the control panel, and my button is now here. If I turn this off, press and hold it, it goes off. Press and hold it, comes on. And if you just watch the my, the uh, numbers there, as I go up, you go up, and then I can come back down again. Absolutely brilliant. And if you weren't sure on the app, you can go onto the app, and like I say, you can go into settings, and you can change, if you watch this changing on the mile an hour and kilometers per hour, you just press on that one, kilometers and miles. So it's very, very easy to do and easy to set up. And if you haven't seen the app, like I say, I have done a video on the app as well. So for tools, what do we need for tools? So we needed uh, an Allen key, which came with your bike. This is a five millimeter Allen key. That's for undoing the headstock um, and taking the screw out. And we also needed, not that one, we needed this one. This is 
a lot smaller, I'm not sure I can see it with my glasses on. That is a 3mm Allen key. That is for connecting the little screw on the back of the hand controller. You can see there, you just connect it with that. And of course I've got the quad lock system on my bike for holding my phone and uh, I may have to just move it across a little bit so that switch fits a bit better. You also need a small um, screwdriver. This hasn't got a number on it, um, but I think it's a number two. There it has, yeah, it's a PH1. So it's a PH1, um, so that's what you need, a Phillips one for that. And I've also got a small braddle and that is used for poking in the little hole in the top there and just popping that rubber bush out, okay? That's what that's used for. And then I put a couple of cable ties on, as you may have seen, I put one there to keep those cables together and I put one on there just to stop that from flapping around. And a pair of pliers to nip them off. I've still got the spare screws in there and that's where the spare controller can now go back in that box and then we know it's in there safe. Right, that's it. Job's done. Fitted, all you need to do is test it, run it around a block and make sure it works. Cheers guys, ciao for now, see you soon.